And today we're going gold with the Gold Edition by Don Kiki. It originates in Nicaragua. The binder and filler are from Nicaragua as well. The wrappers are Ara Parica and the ad is from Brazil. It's a medium to full blend and it comes in three sizes, a Robusto, Toro, and an El Gordo. We'll be doing the Toro 6x66 today, but I'll let Billy tell you about the rest of that. And he should be coming up pretty soon. Are you ready, Billy? Let's go. Oh, and thank you for that. Uh, to correct him, it is actually a Gold Toro 6x56, not 66. Okay? Duly noted. Now, let's take a look at it. That's beautiful. Love the gold, the contrast, the nice chocolate brown wrapper, not too many veins. Rolled very well. Looks like that's a triple cap on that one. This is indeed the gold standard. It looks beautiful. I can't see anything bad about this. This is a Don Kiki uh, brainchild here. And uh, Karen Berger is taking, uh, continuing the legacy on this. And just so you know, she was voted uh, the Tobacco Business Award of 2021. This also has a rating, I think, from 91 in the Cigar uh, Journal. So it comes very highly recommended. This will be the first time I'm actually trying this one. So I'm going to learn it with you guys right here on YouTube. Oh, that's, that smells fantastic. Some, some leather on it. Yeah, definitely leather. A little um, spicy. Oh, oh, that's a good smelling cigar. Uh, generally, these are sold individually. But uh, I want to go ahead and get into this one. I've been waiting for this. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do the hole punch. So with that, anything else, I'm taking it. You notice I'm using the gold hole punch just so we, somebody's paying attention. So we're going to go lightly and slightly. A little pressure. Twist at the same time. Twist, don't crunch it. You're not trying to drive a nail. Okay. That should set. Pop that out. And you're good to go. Okay. Let's do a cold draw on this. And see what we get. Mmm. Okay. I think in a letter, I'm getting more cedar than anything right now. We got leather and cedar. Not a lot of sweetness or anything like that. This is a medium full strength. Great notes on it. Leather, a little cedar. Slight spice. Uh, I want to light this up. I am so excited about this. And uh, because I've been waiting for this. Okay. Now, uh, she also makes a, I believe, a silver standard. Umbador and a couple others. I'll put a link uh, in the description where you can purchase these. Now, I'll slide it up. Now, anything else, we're toasting the foot. See, I'm lightly toasting it. Look how far away I am from it. 
I don't want to scorch it. It's called toasting, not roasting. So I'm toasting the foot. You see, I'm doing a circular motion. And I'm also turning a cigar as well. And this one is just lighting up. This is the fastest and the best foot toasting I've seen in a while. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. Well aged. You know, blowing it slightly. You can puff. I always like to finish with a match. And since I don't use matches anymore, I purchased these. Amazon. See how far away away I was with this. You just want to get it. Just want to get it going. Ooh, that is smooth. I'm getting leather. A little spice on it but this is a smooth cigar oh that tastes delicious and this is only the first third it's got the medium to full taste strength you've got the leather you've got a little cedar and I'm hitting a little spice and maybe just a Look of sweetness. This is a great cigar. Um, I'm going to smoke a third of this. And I'm going to come back. Because I got to have a drink suggestion with this. This one's going to be a doozy. So um, if you can think of something. In the comments. I greatly appreciate it. Be right back. And we are back. Okay, listen. Um, first of all, I gotta do a shout out to Cameron Berger. I really appreciate her, and I'll tell you why. Hope she won't get mad if I tell her this. Uh, tell this. I needed more information on the cigars than what was on the website, so she was kind enough. Right away, sent me thirteen pages of information about all the cigars, Don Kiki, the whole thing. You don't get that from a lot of people. So her, I appreciate that. Um, she's running a company. She's probably super busy, but she took time out to help me out, to send me information. That says a lot about her and her standards. So I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for that. And with that, um, Let's get back into the review. This is what I smoked so far. I was enjoying this so much, I almost forgot to come back. Of course, I knocked the ash off because that's what I do. It's my trademark. Oh, big hands, boom, 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 knocking over stuff. But I'll tell you this. That's a great smoking cigar. Kept the spice. Still had the leather. Not as much cedar, but it had a spice and it had the leather that was there on that third. Uh, so with that, I had to think of something that I wanted to drink with it. Generally, I have an idea, I think, boom, 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 boom. But um, this one was a bit of a dilemma. So I couldn't decide. So this is what I got. Ready? One, two, three. Glenlivet. Now, <laughs> here's the dilemma. Glenlivet makes three. One's a Founders Reserve. One's a 12-year-old single malt. And one's a 14-year-old. 
I was um, torn between the three. Uh, the 14 year old is a cognac cast collection. The 12 year old is a double oak single malt whiskey. And I'm thinking with the leather and the cedar and stuff like that, I would go with the 12 year old double oak. But then the cognac cast, cognac cask kind of spoke to me because it was a 14 year old. Uh, so it says it has a selectively finished and high quality cognac cask. For a rich and intense flavor. Sweet and fruity, rich with white, ripe poached pears and spicy notes. But the 12 year old, this one is calling my name. I've had all these, so that's why I can make a decision like that. Trust me, I've, <laughs> you, you have no idea. I'm not a drunk, I just, I'm a, I'm a sipper. I like sipping whiskey when I smoke a cigar. I've been smoking since 1979, so. I should tell you something. So what I'm going to go with is the Glenlivet 12-year-old single malt, which is this one. I think it's going to be perfect with this cigar. Single malt. It, it's delicious. If you had it, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you need to go get it. So let's go ahead and pour some in a glass. As usual, even if it's a small one, put the dang top back on. Listen to someone who's clumsy and knock things over. Always put the top back on. If you knock it over, you're going to ball like a newborn baby. Been there, done it, not pretty. Okay? Let's get our gold edition. leather sweetness and this is to you everyone that watches my video Cameron Berger appreciate you one more time this is all for the new new subscribers welcome back all subscribers love you cheers much continued success to you Oh, my goodness. If you've never had Glenn Levitt, I can describe that. It's like a just massage in my mouth. Yes. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this when I get done with this video. Remember, that's a Don Kiki Gold and Glenlivet 12 Single Malt Double Oak. Try them. Let me know what you think. You got something better or different? Leave it in the comments. Always glad to hear from you. And with that, it's time to score it. Because if you've been paying attention in my latest videos, I, I decided to score, give the uh, cigars a score so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on with it. And I got five categories. The most you can get in these categories is 10 points. The first one is appearance. Second is flavor. Third is the availability. Four is value. And five is enjoyment. So if you get all 10 and up in those categories, you get 50 points. This is how I scored the Don Kiki by Karen Berger. Appearance, I gave it a 10. I gave it a 10 because it was a beautiful cigar, well made, very few veins. It's indeed a gold standard. The uh, I like the cigar man, how it was wrapped, how it was presented. It was thought out. And it, it was just a beautiful cigar. If you had one, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you need to get one. Flavor, I gave it a 10. Had so much flavor, the notes changed. 
gradually, but they kind of swayed from one to the other. So it kept me interested, kept my mouth going, gave it a 10. Availability, I gave it an 8. It's not available in a lot of places. You can go to the website and get it in a couple of distributors. I just saw that I think uh, somebody else is going to be distributing it, so I gave it an 8. Value, I gave it a 9. It's a well-priced cigar. It's not too expensive. It's not cheap either. It's kind of middle of the road. So I gave it an 8. Value, I gave it a 9. I gave it a 9 because it was a great value for the money. Uh, you know, it, it's, it was moderately priced. You could purchase them. And you don't have to break the bank or sell your first child. Enjoyment, I gave it a 10. Gave it a 10. Thoroughly enjoyed it. No problems. Great ash, great smoke, great mouth taste, great notes. I can't find anything wrong with this. So the total out of 50 points, it got 47 out of 50, which is good. Because according to Cigar Journal, it got 91, which is, yeah. It gives it a 92 with me at 93 if you're counting. So it was a great cigar. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. But I smoke it again, you're darn right I will. But here's what I'll do. I'll smoke it, but I'm not sharing it. So anybody comes over and wants to, hey, let me know. You have anything, else? I'll give you anything else except that those are mine. Okay? And with that, I'm going to ask the new people to do two things for me. Karate chop that subscription. Kung Fu, the notification bell. So you'll be notified next time I do the video. Thank you for coming back. Appreciate you taking time. Love you all. Love your comments. Keep it coming. And I will see you on the next video. As I always say, if you cannot be nice, for God's sake, please be cool. That's all I'm asking for now. See you on the next video.